Hello friends. Today I'm covering a topic mentioned a number of time in my comments, which is did your child had a typical development till about 15 or 30 months of age and then you found that there was a regression specifically in speech skills both verbal and nonverbal as well as social skills of the child. And this regression sometimes was slow and in some cases it was rapid. We are talking today about regressive autism, most commonly called as virtual autism. In these children, both genetic and environmental factors could play a role. What commonly is observed in the child? Socially, the child does not give eye contact. The child does not point to anything or respond to pointing. The name response of the child is gone and the child has social anxiety. As far as emotions go, the child has a lot of emotional dysregulation. As for play, the child's play interest seems to be lost. The child is playing, but in the form of flapping hands, mouthing things, spinning around, running in the house, looking at things closely, hearing sounds, saying phrases repeatedly, and so on. Three common genetic causes have been identified in these children according to research. First, the ability of the cells to produce energy is reduced, which is called as mitochondrial damage. Secondly, there is some kind of gastrointestinal distress that you will find in these children. So because of that, it affects the overall functioning of the body. And the third cause is the immune system is reduced. So you might find these children are more prone to infections. Their immune system is not working appropriately. Two main environmental factors have been identified here. First is screen time exposure. More than four hours, though I talked about 15 months, but it has actually been seen in my comments that four months or five month old babies are also exposed to a lot of screen time. And it is extended as much as four years of age. So the child is primarily getting visual and auditory stimulation and the activity level of the child goes low, the interest in play goes low, peer interaction goes down, the response to the environment goes down. And that is why the symptoms that I mentioned before. And secondly, we talk about reduced parent-child interaction. But it's not just that, it is also reduced social interaction. The child is not socializing enough, the parents are not able to manage enough time with the children to take them to parks or playgrounds regularly. Schooling is started late and as a result, the child does not get enough exposure. It is recommended to get the child checked for any kind of nutritional deficiencies. Genetic testing for some children has been done in order to rule out why this regression really happened. But as for the environmental factors, that are under your control as parents because the screen time can be reduced if the child is given enough exposure to play material interest based toys are provided to the child and not just handed over to the child but the parent actually interacts with the child while playing those games if you are able to spend even 30 minutes of time in the morning and in the evening twice a day it is sufficient for the child to gain on the play skills explore their creative and imaginative ability and you will see a significant difference in your child at the end i would like to address one small area which is many parents calling these behaviors as attention seeking and what we need to understand here is the child, because they have regressed in speech, regressed in social skills, do not know how to approach other kids. If other kids are approaching them because of their limitation in social skills and language skills, they are not able to identify how to approach them, how to respond to them, and even if they smile, after that they might not know what to do or understand their language and speech or nonverbal communication for that matter. Similarly, if the parents are not giving enough time to the child, spending, as I said, enough time with them, taking them to parks regularly or some social settings regularly and helping them interact with others, the skills of the child are not going to improve. The takeaway message is it is not just doing activities with the child, but correct technique of doing activity so that your child is able to develop all these skills in which they have regressed.
I hope this video was informative for you regarding regressive autism or what we call as virtual autism. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development, ring the bell icon for notification, mention any queries or suggestions in the comments below and we'll meet again soon. Bye.